Hi guys, it's Max here with dartsreviews.tv in association with dartsplanet.tv. Today we've got some mission darts. we got the Graham Hall, G-Man himself. Really vibrant green there, it really stands out. The dart itself looks nice, there's plenty of different grip areas, but uh, what I think we'll do is we'll go and get them out of the box and have a closer look. Okay, we're over the table with Mission's Graham Hall darts here. Got that lovely striking foil, it's, it's like, it feels slightly raised, which is really nice. It's like you can feel them with your finger. The Graham Hall's raised as well. You've got the window there showing the darts and the flights. Mission logo at the bottom showing there that we've got the match weight is 0.05 grams and they are the 24 gram darts. Over on the back, got the G-Man there in the black and the green, which is really striking. Again, it feels raised. Graham Hall underneath and a little bit there for Mission and what's in there with the darts. It shows there again, match weighted with the Mission logo and a little bit of a safety warning there that we all have to pay attention to. But we'll get the darts out and have a closer look. Oh, a little bit stiff. Here we go. Right, comes in this velvet covered sort of insert that does what it needs to holds all the darts got the mission point holder with all three darts there that green on those saber stems really stands out against the black and so do the g-man flights we'll get the darts out so we can have a closer look at one of them oh they're nice and tight in that point holder right so we'll start off at the front we've got a standard black coated point does add a bit of grip there into the board instead of the plain silver, which is nice. Then you've got a nice long tapered conical nose going into this beautiful emerald green inlaid sort of groove there. And then it is a twin ring, but it's very, very narrow groove in the middle there. So it feels like one ring rather than two. There's three of those at the very, very front. Then you go into two very smooth sections with a, again a very very narrow groove that you can be, I can't I can barely feel it with my nail so it's more for aesthetics I'd say then you go into another twin ring groove section with four so like ring sections again a very narrow groove in the middle but the groove itself between the four ring sections is quite deep I can fill them with my fingers which is really really good um, and that's at the very midpoint of the dart. So it's given nice clear sections to throw from. Then we've got another smooth section here before we go into some more emerald grooves there with an extra twin ring that's very close together. That, Like I said, feels like one ring, but it is a twin ring. And then you've got a smooth etched mission logo section there and then another ring section at the back. And then when it tapers down into this beautiful green saber stem, which is the short, which is really nice. They grip the flights really, really well. Um, the dart feels quite nice. Um, obviously, these are the 24 grams, so there's a little bit of weight to them. But it's nice that you've got like three very distinct grip sections on this dart. So again, it will grip like rear, front or mid throwers. Um, obviously, the grip's going to be slightly different because um, you've got that big smooth section there with the mission logo at the back. But um, I can feel a little bit of uh, grip there and slightly at the front as well because of the deep grooves. Um, these particular ones come in at 6.6 millimetres wide and they are 48 millimetres long. So they're not too long either. Um, you're going to get a decent grooving with this at 6.6. .6. And with that, so like long taper you, your deflection off of the flights and things like that and your grouping is going to be nice and close as well but uh less of talking to the dart what we'll do is we'll go and head over to the board and we'll have a throw okay so we're over at the board we've got graham hall darts g-man himself we've got that lovely green coloring on these darts here really not going to mistake them i'm going to have a couple of throws just so i can get used to them um there's a couple of different grip points that i can play about with and um, after we've had a throw we'll go straight into our 201 practice routine so let's see how we get on Going straight, and there's the adjustment of the height, or oh, 100, like a good steady ton. Oh, a little bit wide. Oh, I hit me dart. Oh, dear, oh, dear. 
I think we'll have one more throw on that because we had a bit of a a little deflection there. There we go. Oh, 125, almost the 180. That would have been a nice way to finish the practice. Right, well, made the adjustment, had a little bit of a deflection, but that was due to having fantastic accuracy. But uh, yeah, let's go into our 201 practice routine. Oh, a little bit into the five. 95 that's not too bad grouped nicely with the last two there 106 left to get oh just pulled it 58 scored and we've got 48 left to get. Oh, went a little bit higher than I wanted. And in three darts. Made the adjustment after having that little high dart. That's not too bad, nine darts, considering I had a few wild ones at the end there. But, uh, Nicely balanced. Um, it's got a nice sort of like conical nose at the front, so you can get a bit closer grouping on some of those. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a final review on these. Okay, uh, didn't do fantastic nine darts, but started off with the 95. Messed about a little bit with the finishing, but yeah, I think I've done all right. They they felt nice, um, not masses of grip. Obviously, I have hard fingers and thumbs, so I don't fit into those smaller grooves as well as some people. Um, I'm only going to give this a grip rating of 1.5. Some people may think they're a little bit grippier, but it's not something you're going to pick up if you love a grippy dart like a shark grip or anything. It is a lot smoother than that. Um, the balance itself, though, is really, really nice. I did get a nice flight with them, um, and they're getting a relatively good grouping as well. Um, these are 90% tungsten and 24 gram, and the measurements come in at 6.6 .6 millimeters wide and 48 millimeters long so they're thin enough to get a really good consistent grouping in the trebles and or even the doubles and the length isn't too much either so you're not going to feel like they're over sort of like weighted at the back or anything if you're putting short or like tweeny stems on um like again they feel good they flew okay uh the price point on these though are 49.95 which is around about the middle price now for 90 percent tungsten i think so um and obviously you've got the coatings and everything and i do like the uh saber stems as well they really do grip the flights well so they're not flying off every time you throw um if you agree or disagree with anything i've said um head over over to the comment section and before i forget obviously these do come in at 22 and 24 gram not masses of choice but i think the majority of darts players nowadays are sticking around 22 23 24 so it is right in the middle of the uh, sort of like main demographic i suppose um but again it's all personal preference um if you agree or disagree head down to the comments leave us a comment um if there's something that you've got so like and you've thrown them and you think it may help out other throwers and players leave a comment as well because it's not always about what i'm saying about the dart it's nice to get different perspectives so people can really make their mind up because not everyone's got a dart shop where they can go and try them um head over to dartsreviews.tv there's loads of reviews over there and dartsplanet.tv there's some beautiful articles you can have a read through and some products on there as well and um, make sure you tick subscribe and tick notifications um, loads of reviews coming up in the future might be something that you've been looking forward to for a while or a new product launch coming out. Um, but uh, as always, hopefully you will come back and see us again soon. Bye.